All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So what I'm going to call this podcast is, are you hallucinating or executing? I kind of like to play on words there. And it hit me the other day. I just came up with this because I think I saw a quote or something about somebody saying that uh, regarding hallucinating, like regarding dreams, and people having all these kind of thoughts and not actually executing them. They didn't word it exactly that way, but it, it kind of hit me. And I was thinking about that for myself, that I've been pretty good at, you know, kind of being a dreamer, but then executing it. But I will say a lot of times, most of the times I didn't succeed at what I was going after or got it to the level I wanted to get it to. One is... I think I'm not intelligent enough sometimes to go beyond where I I need to go. And I think a lot of people need to understand this. That, you know, it probably I should have taken on more people, say, to help me or raised more money to take it to a certain level because I don't know if you ever created anything, you know. I don't care if you're a director in a film. You obviously not only need a great cast or a great cinematographer or I'm not going to start listing all the... But you need a great team, no matter what. It's not like I, you, know, you have a great director and you have one actor, and if he's a shitty actor, you don't do, make films with just a few people. You obviously need a lot. And even if you want to start an independent business, you know, even if it's just kind of by yourself, you still are going to most likely need people to help you with things that you can't do all the time. I don't care if it's your website. I don't care if it's your graphics, your marketing, um, running your social media platforms, uh, learning about inventory, er, the whole thing. It's really hard, obviously, to do anything by yourself independently. And I think that's what paralyzes a lot of people. So I I know that about myself. But uh, I do see a lot of people out there that have all these dreams, but really no execution. They, it's, it really is a hallucination, I think. It's one thing to talk about your dreams, right? But if you're not doing anything to pursue those, what the hell are you doing? Now, again, if you want to make something or create something, if you're an inventor or you want to sell something or do whatever the hell you want to do, you really got to step back and say, how am I going to do this besides just talk about it? I was a big talker, and I think a lot of people are, and just never did. I talked years, decades about making films, never did a damn thing about it. All I was doing was talking about movies and then talking about a movie that I was going to write, talking about a movie I was going to make. I'm just using that for example. I see this with a lot of people wanting to start their own businesses. or They just literally talk me to death. It could even be buying a home in real estate. Talking about it for years. Talking about moving to another state. Again, I have a lot of family members, friends, and colleagues throughout the, North America always talking about moving to Florida, and then I lived in California, so it was one or the other. So I was in that position where kind of I'm in a place where everybody wants to kind of go. Not everybody, that's ridiculous, but a lot of people wanted to go. Either move there at that point in time or in the future want to retire there. I get it. They're beautiful spots. Uh, they have a lot of perks, right? I get it. But never, never do it. Never do it. And I get you want to talk about it, but after a certain amount of time, are you hallucinating? <laughs> like, that's kind of almost... A hallucination to a certain degree. Now I know it's not like taking drugs or, or that hallucination, like here. But if if you're kind of always kind of in this dream state, you got to figure shit out, man, and break out of that and learn to execute. Now again, if you want to move the move or do whatever you want to do, I tell people just start small, uh, slow. I'm a sloth, man. I talk about it all the time. I'm almost like Cousin Slowpoke with uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Like, he's slow. I'm always hungry. It sounds like a joke, but I used to say that when I was younger, too, where I loved sports. I love being fast and everything. But when it comes to other things, I'm definitely not one who's going to go full throttle crazy at the beginning, which probably is a weakness of mine, maybe. But I also think the good thing is it's kind of like I take my time figuring things out. Maybe I take too much time, but every day I move forward a little bit. I'm definitely the turtle in the race. Uh, I'm definitely not the guy in the fast lane on the expressway. And I'm, I'm kind of the guy all the way in the right that's kind of slow now. But I avoid a lot of 
accidents, I guess you could say, because I'm out of, if something goes down, not that saying that people who speed, people who speed actually on the expressway I heard have less accidents statistically because they pay more attention. I heard where people who drive slow, texting and all that shit obviously have more. So that's, I don't know if this is a good example, but in, in this case, I'm kind of all, always preventative when I drive and I execute that when I do, when I create. And if you're somebody, again, who wants to create things or do things, right, stop hallucinating, stop talking, you know, after a while, nothing wrong with talking about it, but start doing something that you can hold on to that makes it real, even if it's just a little bit. And maybe it's even, I've done this before, maybe social media, you want to create a certain product or whatever, you just starting a page, Okay, you may not even have the product or anything. That doesn't mean you're going to send it out to tons of people or share it yet if you don't have anything. But even you going on a social media platform and just seeing an account with maybe one image, uh, you know, or something, you know, say you want to write a book hypothetically and you just start writing anything. It could be one page. I think the hardest thing for most people is just starting. And it's almost like in their mind, it's done. Like they know what they want to do, but nothing has been executed. Well, the beginning's going to be like this. This is how it's going to be ran. This is how this is going to happen. This, but you have nothing. And I run across this all the time. And I believe me, I love helping people. Again, I don't care if you're looking to buy a home uh, or whatever. Most people aren't even on first base. They don't even know what town they want to live in a lot of times. They may know what price they want to spend. But they've never even visited most places that they even talk about going to. Uh, they don't have a job there, let's just say, for instance. they have. Uh, it's just so kind of bullshitty is what I should say. Don't do that to yourself and don't do it to others. I think I did this too throughout my first marriage a little bit because I kept saying I was going to go to California and I'm going to be a filmmaker and it was always that angle. So no matter where I was at, I was kind of miserable. But I was kind of hallucinating. One, I wasn't making any films. Two, I kept saying I'm going to end up in California making films. Three, I never knew how to make films. I, I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. Even when I went on to make a couple independent films, I really was lost because a lot of shit I was talking, it really wasn't reality in any way, shape, or form. It wasn't. It was like a made-up reality in my head that I was living, but I was kind of making everybody suffer because a lot of it was, most of it was bullshit. I didn't know how to do those things, but I kept pretending like I was going to do those things. So... I just kind of wanted to do a podcast on this. And here's the deal. I get a lot of us, you know, it hurts because I think I will say a lot of us have dreams, right? Or we have all these goals. And for the most part, a lot of us don't succeed at them or we don't know how to really go about accomplishing them. Talking about opening your own restaurant or coffee house, I'm just using for an example. I should say, you know, we used to say this about the bar business. Every drunk in the bar, I should say, yeah, a lot of the drunks in the bar used to tell everybody else how to run the bar business or how simple it would be to run a bar. But they don't know the complications, I'm just saying, on running a bar and all the things you have to go through to actually do it. And I look at life a lot like that. It's easy, again, to talk about what you want to do for years or think that you're going to do something or if, if this happens, then, then I can do this or all this. It's back to hallucination or just kind of bullshitty. If you want to do something, start doing it. Really, stop wasting your time. And if you're not doing it, there's a reason why you're most likely not doing it. It's just to fill time or kind of back to bullshit yourself or others. Because if you do, again, want to open a restaurant, a coffee house, start studying it, start putting financing in place, unless you have your own money, start to go look at locations, start to, maybe you want to do a franchise, maybe independent, start doing something. But I do think a lot of people don't realize that a lot of people out there are constantly just talking and not doing. That takes a toll on other people listening to you. And I know, because I'm was one. i on both sides of this. But if you, are, if you plan on doing something, start doing it. If you're not, it's fine to talk about it. But quit kind of, you owe it to yourself and maybe to others. If you keep saying you're going to do something, go do it. And if you're afraid to do it, Stop talking about it, maybe, or just figure out maybe that isn't what you really want to do. Because after a certain amount of time, I even said it, I had shit or get off the pot. I don't care if it was making a book, making a movie, whatever the case may be. I can't keep sitting here and lying to myself and others that I'm going to do something that I'm really not doing. So that never made sense to me 
and it doesn't make sense, uh, I think, to a lot of others as well. So just something to look out for. All right, I'm going to wrap it out there. Uh, if you get a chance, just check out my website, and I'm all over the place. Just Google my name if you're interested in anything else. I think I'm coming up on 600 podcasts, which is crazy. I've been putting some new ones up with my co-host, Robert Beninati, some interesting ones, mainly regarding uh, his journey through real estate, which is quite interesting. We did another one about cancel culture, which I think is getting nuts. And also, what was the other one I put up with him? I think it was uh, no matter... What you do, people are going to judge you. So that kind of ties into this. I'm here to tell you, if you go after whatever you're going after and you fail, it sucks. You went after it, right? You may lose money. I'm not going to bullshit you. Most people lose their ass when they're going after certain things. If everybody was successful, everybody would be multimillionaires. But I am here to tell you, you may fail. But I think a lot of people will have a lot of respect for you trying or going after what you wanted to go after than you sitting around talking about something that you never went after. And again, you can do whatever you want to do, but, you know, do what you got to do. All right, take care.